Kiki Kleinfeld. So this is the last video of a three-part series about DIY fake Christmas food decor. And you will find links to the other two tutorials at the end of this video and in the description box. This time we are making a super simple craft with the cheap materials, which is always a bonus. I will be showing you how to make these two adorable gigantic cookies. First there is this little rain dough, because she's a little lady. And then this happy frosty snowman. And I mean, who wouldn't be happy with this nice chocolate smile? So have fun and here we go! So first you will need some cork hot pot stands. And as usual, I bought these at the dollar store, but you could also use some styrofoam discs. Then cover your cookies with one or two layers of white paint to cover the color of the cork. The cork drinks up the paint, so you will have to be very generous with it. Then paint your cookies an off-white color, which will make them look like a raw sugar cookie. I use a sponge to add the color because I like the texture it gives the cookie instead of the strokes of a paintbrush. Then using your painting sponge, blend in some golden yellow on the sides of the cookie and on the bottom to make it look baked. Next, I like to add a bit of brownish orange to add more realism and depth. Blend it in with the golden yellow on the very edge of the cookie. Always start painting on the bottom of the cookie to take off the excess paint since it doesn't really matter what the bottom looks like. Then to make the pretzels, you can draw a base shape on some parchment paper or just wing it and fill in the shape with some hot glue. Once the glue has cooled down, simply peel it off from the paper. Next, paint a few layers of golden yellow for the base color. Then with your sponge, blend in some brownish orange. And finally, add some darker reddish brown on top. Once the paint is dry, it's time to add the fake salt. Cover your pretzels with Mod Podge. Then sprinkle on some white sand that looks exactly like real salt. Then let them dry. For the reindeer nose, I decided to make it with hot glue, but you could also use clay. I simply made a huge oval of hot glue. Then add a few layers of red paint. Cover your gummy nose with Mod Podge. Before dipping it in fine glitter for the fake sugar. Once the glue is dry, add another layer of Mud Podge on top to seal the glitter in. For the snowman carrot nose gummy, mix orange and translucent polymer clay. Then roll it between your fingers to shape it like a cone before flooding it in on your working surface. Then cover your nose with translucent liquid Sculpey and dip it in fine glitter. For the chocolate smile, simply roll up balls of brown polymer clay so they look like Maltese chocolate. Bake your clay decorations following packaging instructions. Then you will need lightweight spackling for the frosting. Make sure you follow healthcare precautions like a mask, glasses and some gloves. Then mix in some brown and reddish orange paint for the chocolate frosting. This will take a whole lot of paint but you will get a really yummy look afterwards. Spread your frosting with a popsicle stick or a spatula that you only use for crafting, not for baking. And finally, add your little pretzel and gummy decorations. For the snowman, you will need to add a whole lot of white paint to your spackling because even if it looks white in the jar, it dries up a light blue which doesn't look so delicious. Now spread out your frosting. And have fun sticking in your nose gummy and chocolate smile. Once your cookies have dried for at least 12 hours, you can paint on the eyes with puffy paint. Sadly, I don't have much footage of this because I leaned in a bit too much and my head decided to be a star and hide the whole process. Once the paint is dry, you can add a nice layer of glaze all over your cookies. There you 
you go, now you have your own huge adorable fake cookies. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and this whole series. I hope you'll have some ideas to make some fun crafts during the holidays, which will be a lot different than usual holidays this year. If you want to talk, you can write me in the comment section. I love to hear about what you guys are going through and what's new with you. I love to hear about you. So I wish you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Have a wonderful day and God bless you. Bye.